Today we're going to talk about the most important thing to attain in life aside from love itself. It's just as important or more important than money, status, sex. I feel like every so often, even in a nation of people who valued freedom and autonomy enough to die and kill for it, we forget how vital it is in life, how having it affects you psychologically and how devastating it is to lose it. Chances are, if you've ever felt depressed or abnormally stressed or anxious, it's because of lack of this one thing that we call autonomy. Quick side note, people use autonomy in different ways for the sake of clarity. Whenever I use the word, I'm talking about freedom and control over your life, the ability to, to govern yourself and not be controlled by others. Keep in mind how your brain tracks your wins and losses in life. Your promotions when you get laid off, your gains and losses of social status. Think about how and why it rewards you with dopamine and other important chemicals when you succeed. You're not hardwired to track and reward things like leveling up status-wise for no reason. Status is important because it helps you survive and thrive. But let's take that one layer deeper. What's at the core of how status helps you thrive? It brings two primary advantages to the table. Social connectedness and more control of your life. More specifically, autonomy. The word autonomy comes from the Greek autonomia, from autonomous, having its own laws, uh, from autos, which means self, and nomos, which means law, so self-law. As an autonomous person, you are self-governed, not controlled by others. Let's make a case for autonomy. Have you thought recently about your needs and your wants? What your ideal life looks like? Think about it for a second. What's interesting to me is how often people talk about gaining financial success or social status, success with women, success with men, or perhaps uh, less often the even more important factor for a successful life, which is the various forms of love, right? Acceptance, respect, intimacy, all of the above. And we talk even less about this thing we all crave unconsciously and desperately need to be successful to feel successful and to live healthy lives, and that is autonomy. Imagine this. You're one of the highest ranking warriors in the early Middle Ages, let's say. You have great status, great respect, the love and admiration of your troops, your family and friends. Sounds pretty good, right? But you're not just any warrior. You're a Mameluke, a slave warrior. You see where I'm going here. You can have all of those amazing things, love, respect, status, etc., but if you have no freedom, no autonomy, you simply can't live life to its fullest, and you cannot be truly successful, at least by most people's definition of successful. Viktor Frankl said, the dignity of man is based on his freedom. This is why the Mamelukes, as competent and well-respected and even well-paid as they often were, ended up overthrowing their masters and seizing control after the Seventh Crusade. They needed autonomy, self-government, and we all do. Mark Cuban has a great quote about this. He said, I'd rather work 80 hours a week and make $50,000 working for myself than make $100,000 working for someone else. Kind of an interesting thought. Second only to love, arguably, Autonomy is likely the number one thing you want and need at the very core of you. Think about it. It's not the money you want so much as it's the freedom it brings, the autonomy, the control that it gives you over your life. It's less so power that we want, I believe, and more so freedom from the control of others, but also the freedom to express and build your dreams through not only your own hands, but the hands of others. Now, the Jungian perspective on autonomy. Marie-Louise Van Franz said, the goal of individuation is to become a unified and autonomous personality, to be able to stand on one's own feet. 
from, from a Jungian perspective, pursuing autonomy is important because it represents a journey toward individuation. The process of becoming a whole individual who is in touch with their true self and integrated with their unconscious. By becoming a unified and autonomous personality, you can develop not only a stronger sense of self-awareness and personal identity, you can take control of your life and your personal growth as well. Jung believed that this process of individuation required a, a strong sense of autonomy or the ability to make one's own choices and decisions based on one's own values and beliefs. He saw this as a crucial aspect of psychological health and well-being. And much like modern psychologists and Jungians believed that individuals who lack autonomy are more likely to suffer from feelings of anxiety, frustration, bitterness, and unhappiness. This pursuit of autonomy involves developing, involves developing a strong sense of self, embracing one's individuality, and integrating the various aspects of the psyche, including the shadow, the anima, and, and, or animus, and the collective unconscious. It allows individuals to understand their own unconscious motivations and patterns of behavior, which leads to a greater sense of freedom and fulfillment in life. So autonomy is crucial in achieving a balanced and harmonious state of being. It's crucial in the process of becoming whole. Jung said, the process of differentiation towards individuality is, at bottom, a process of detachment from unconscious identity with collective norms and values. He's expressing the idea that the process of individuation or the integration of the self requires a detachment from collective norms and values in order to embrace your own individuality and autonomy. This idea is a central theme in Jungian psychology and a key aspect of personal growth, development, and ultimately, life success.